everybody, we are going to the skate park. Yeah. To our favourite skate park, yeah? Yeah. So guys, I'm going to do a drop in and then go to the end. It's another homeschool day. Jetty got sick of math, so what did we do instead, Jet? Nothing. Nothing. What are these? What are these called? I did these all puzzles. Jet really loves doing puzzles, and um, these were a mess. But Somebody had pulled all these apart, and the pieces were everywhere. And Jetty just put them all together in like five minutes. Do you know why he did it in five minutes? Because I said he could watch Prank Patrol if he did it quickly. Well done, Jet. Um, so Jetty put all the puzzle into groups to make it easier, didn't you, Dylan? He's working on the bees. And CJ's back on to maths. Had a bit of trouble starting today, didn't we, CJ? Why was that? Because <laughs> no, my brain wasn't switched on. Your brain wasn't switched on, so did you switch it on? Yes. And what did you do this morning? Go to the skate park. So sometimes after the skate park, they have a bit of trouble switching their brains on, don't they? Or don't you? And after I do something fun before, and that's what you do. Yeah, we're having a bit of trouble getting started because we took two weeks off for the holidays and this week has been a slow starting week but we're not too worried about it are we? Because that's the good thing about homeschooling. You do the work when you can and you take a break when you want. And luckily they're still up to their grade level. <laughs> Jen always needs to say, well, I'm in grade two. Oh, my goodness. Jenny did this whole freaking thing by himself. Well done, baby. Hey, you didn't even want to do it at the do start. Do I get a sticker? We would you do we get a sticker. Did you? So, Jet has been doing this for maths today. we got to do blocks, don't we, Jet? What do we have to do with them? Build the blocks. So we have to build blocks and then put them in order of numbers. A little bit easy for Jetty, but we kind of like to keep it simple at this stage because he is only four and learning should be fun. So we don't want to do anything too difficult just yet. Maybe next year we'll start getting into some serious business stuff. So, and then we're going to put them in order, aren't we? So, look. Four, five. That's right. One. Cool. So, we might go outside and get some fresh air. What do you think? Go check out our garden. Right, yeah. And what fruit and veggies do you have in here? Cashew fruits. We have one right. There's one right. Look how much pink flowers we have. Passion fruit. And Jetty loves pink flowers, so he's pretty excited about this. So we could pick that and take, just take it off the line. Take it off the line? Something, something's <laughs> going under there, it's a little tiny thing. <laughs> and this is our oranges. 
Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Gosh, there's heaps. Ah! One. Massive aloe vera. One. What else do we have? We've got mint look down right. there. Look right. and, the and the trampoline. We've got a sport hoop. So this apparently is a money plant and it's we've got a few of these in our garden but let me tell you it has not brought in money to this house. <laughs> Maybe if we keep letting it grow we'll get some more money from the money plant. Holy moly! What? Holy moly twice! Oh jeez, I don't like watching it. It freaks me out. <laughs> Last one! Oh, that's some break dancing moves right there. How was that? Awesome. Bit tired now? <laughs> What's she gonna make, Jet? Scrambled eggs. <laughs> it does look like scrambled eggs. Jet's allergic to eggs, aren't you, Jetty? And I'm, I, I'm not allergic to cook eggs. I'm allergic to raw eggs, nuts, pistachios, and cashews, and, and any kind of nuts and cashews, but uh, pistachios. I have pistachios. That's a tricky pistachios. one. Yes, pistachios. What else are you allergic to, Jenny? Raw eggs. You're, well, you're allergic to all eggs and wheat, which is a bugger, isn't it? Because it's in everything. And it's in Play-Doh. It's in Play-Doh. So hopefully they'll grow out of it, but they do have allergies. So Mom, our lives are a little bit don't, different to other people. Don't, 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 don't buy us any food. <laughs> no, don't ever feed my kids any food. That's good advice. So it's that time of the day with homeschooling where we play a game. So we're playing this game. We've played it before. We got it from Aldi a while back. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. And it's just basic maths for Jet mostly. So it's CJ's turn and he picked up a number two. So now he has to decide if he's going to make an equation using plus or minus to get the answer to. With the animal cars, and he's chosen. What have you chosen? Minus seven minus. That's all I could do. Oh, that's good. So seven minus yeah. five equals two. Well done. Get yourself a token, dude. Well done. He doesn't like to make it easy, do you, CJ? You like to keep it interesting, which is good. I like to challenge myself. You do, you do like to challenge yourself and that makes so it more, more fun. Kinder. Okay, what's Jet gonna get? Jetty, what's that? So Jetty got four. Three plus one equals four. Safe bet. I like how you play it safe, Jetty. Get that token Can without I a doubt. Bye bye guys. I'm bye bye guys. I'm going outside to play. <laughs> you are attached to that Nerf gun this week. Bye. Jet's last two cards. Three plus two equals five, and he's got himself his last token, which makes Jetty the winner. All the neighbourhood boys. Oh. Well, can I have a turn, please? Yeah, you're